Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learning Webers. Today I am going to show you how to install Git in your Windows PC. Also I will show you how to create repository in GitHub and pull and push from that repository. Let's get started. Open your browser and type for Git. Go to this link. You will find download for Windows. Once you click in, the downloading will be get started. I've already downloaded it, so let's just install it. Click on open and wait for a couple of seconds. Click on yes. Click on next. I am installing in C drive. You can choose your drive as well. Yeah, I will click on desktop as well. Additional icon. I, I want to use it. You can leave it. Yeah, the folder name will be git by default. Yeah, next. Now this one. I want to use use git and optional Unix tools from the common from. I'm using it this way, okay? So that I can use Unix command as well, okay? Do not touch this kind of settings. Go to the next and get installed. Just wait for some minutes. While installing it, Let's just create one repository in GitHub. So, well, open github.com and sign in into your account. Okay, I'm already signed in. So, I'm going to create a new repository. Okay, click on the new repository button and name your repository. Like uh, we can use this one at YouTube Tim. Okay, I'll add a small description for it. It is also okay. This repository will be public so that everyone can see this kind of repository, and uh, you can also add your files over here for testing purpose. And Please click on this button. Initialize this repository with a readme. Okay. Click on quick create repository. So my repository is created. Okay. It is it is only at one file, readme.md. Okay. That was created while we are creating the repository. Now it is almost installed. Just wait for a couple more minutes. What are we going to do? We are going to do actually. We will add one file over here, change that file, and we'll commit this file. And we'll, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of things. Okay. So my this icon is come, so it is actually installed in my PC. Okay. Look, while I'm right clicking now, there's two options: git GUI here and git bash here. I'm going to use git bash here for this video. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clone this repository. Okay, for that, we need to create a folder. Why are we going to do this? Okay, you can do it in directory as well. For safe purpose, I'm going to create a folder. Git demo ref. 
sorry bad spelling mistake If I click on git bash here, it will open a common form. This is similar kind of common form, but this some colorful. They are doing good stuff, I think. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I will do two things at first. One, I will add my username as global and user email as global. So what it will do? Whenever we are going to push any file to GitHub, it will ask my username and password for it. But if I set username as globally, then it will not ask for the username anymore. For the first time, it will ask password. So the comment for it, git configs dash dash global dash user dot name. So we are ch. How I find my username? This username is written in this url okay so i'm going to paste it okay same user dot email and your email id for user email okay now now what i'm going to do i'm going to clone this repository at first so i will click clone and download and copy this link and the comment of the cloning any kind of repository from github is git clone url i'm going to copy it and paste it over here Okay, it is showing that my repository has been cloned successfully. Yeah, I can see a new folder called YouTube demo. And there is only one file. Okay. So what I go what I'm going to do, I will add a new file over here called demo txt. Okay, and I will write one quote. This is my first video. Okay. Actually, it is really my first video. And like, comment, share, and subscribe is really needed from you guys. Hope you will enjoy this video and it will help you guys to pull and push and install GitHub in your local PC. If you like it, please do comment, like, share, subscribe with your friends. Okay. So now next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this file into GitHub. Before that, I'm currently in git demo repo folder. So I need to dig down into YouTube demo folder. Comment for it cd slash folder name. What is my folder name? This one. Okay. Now the next comment is git add what it will do it will add all the files those are changed to github okay count for it git space add space dot okay next i need to write one commit comment commit message actually for github so comment for is git dash space dash commit sorry git commit space m m for message this is my first comment for this okay and I will hit enter. Okay. But it will not add to GitHub GitHub repository still now. I'm going to show you. There's no changes. Because I need to 
push this one to GitHub as well. Comment for it. Git push origin master. Okay, master is a branch name. Look, I'm currently in the master branch. So git push origin master means I am pushing this file to the origin original repository to the master branch. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. It will take some time because actually it is push the file to the GitHub automatically. So it will take a couple of seconds. Okay. It, it may take uh, some minutes or some hours at, uh, as well. Mm, if you are using a large number of files for your project. Okay. Now I'm going to refresh this page. Boom, it scans. Okay, this is my first comic for this repo, and yeah, this is my first video. This is also the file. Okay, good job. Now, I am going to okay. this is going to be my. Second point. Process will be same, but I'm why I'm doing it. I'm going to take you some minutes. Okay. So what I did currently, I add a new line over here. So if I'm going to push it, the process will be same, but there is some tricks. Like why are we using repository? Because of using same project used by multiple person. Suppose this demo.txt file is maybe changed by you, maybe changed by any other guys. But I am also using this file that actually in my local for a week ago. I don't know whoever changed this file or may be changed or may not be changed. But if I go into use the old file and that line of code actually been changed by you uh, after some days, then what will be happen? Now what will be the process? Let's get, see. So for this one, I'm going to add this file again. Okay. This process is same. Then, then the next step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the file again from the GitHub to see if there is any kind of change. If there is any kind of change, then my local file will be cloned as a merge version one and other guys version or, or the latest version in the GitHub will also come in my folder. And also my fo original file will be collide of two new changes. Changes by me and changes by the other person who is actually last committed in GitHub. So, the comment will be git pull origin master the comments are really easy where push means push to the github repository pull means pulling to your local hub okay it is doing all up to date because nobody is using this repository i'm just created it so if if it has any kind of problem it will actually come into your local first, then you will see and make changes accordingly, then you will push it. Okay. Then next will be kit commit stain second commit. Oh no. Because comment spelling was wrong. Really bad spelling mistake. Sorry about it. Okay. Keep conference then. Now I'm going to push it. Yeah. It's done. Let's replace the page and yeah, change. Yeah. It's come. So in this video, yeah, the file is changed. You can see it. So you can use this repository for your using power as well, okay? 
and if you like this video please comment on it do subscribe my channel and i'm going to teach you more tricks and tricks about um github and also next is coming is uh, what is 5.0 tutorial and uh, phd design about uh, website designing and lots lots of stuff and you can uh, you can comment me uh, for which kind of things i am going to add my new video okay so if you like it or unlike it also please do comment on it subscribe to my channel thanks for watching